Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to show how you can add a picture to a form and use that picture as a button to call a macro in Microsoft Excel 2010 or Microsoft Excel 2007. So to set this up go to your insert tab. Under insert go on and select picture and I'm only going to use a sample picture that's already within Windows 7. I'm just going to select this picture right here. Now I wouldn't recommend using a picture of this size because it's going to drastically increase the size of your of your workbook but in this case I mean when you have a button that you want to put into your into your Excel sheet that's much smaller by all means to do it and let's go on and get this set up so I have the button here and if you'll notice under picture tools you have all of these options to style your image that way you can make it look more like a button I'm just gonna go on and select this option right here simple frame black and what I'm going to do is right click, um, just single click, but right click, and you're going to do assign macro. I already have a macro that's set up here. It's called select and copy. I'm going to go. I'm just going to use that macro, and hit OK. So now, when you drag the mouse over the, the image, you now have the the finger pointing to the button. That way, you can click it. And I'm going to go on and delete what I have in sheet two because this is what my macro is going to do. My macro is going to copy what's in sheet one and put it into sheet two. So let's just run that. I'm going to I'm going to test our our picture button. And there you have it. It called the macro and the information is now in sheet 2. Now, you can do the same thing for shapes. Any of these shapes, you can do a similar practice where you hit the rectangle, draw it onto your form, onto your worksheet, you know, maybe put some text into it. and you can align it to your preference and under drawing tools you can give it some I mean you give it the appearance that you would like personally I would give it one of these 3D button type appearances and if you don't like any of these default colors I mean once you select the style that you want you can modify the the shape fill shape outline shape effects I mean there's many formatting options for your button but once you have the button set up just right click it assign macro and assign the macro that you'd like in this case I'm just gonna do the same select and copy hit OK run that macro click it and the macro is called hope you guys enjoy this video thank you for watching